good enough to temper. That's that's about the color you want when you temper your steel. For sure, hardened steel. You don't want it really bright. If you get it really bright, it'll get extremely brittle. On milder steel, you can. But uh, but when I want to hammer and get it really mild and malleable, I like it almost white. Just about ready to start throwing sparks. It but works very easy. That way. These are already tempered, though. So are you actually taking the temper out right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Anytime you heat these up, and the slower you cool them, the milder the steel gets. And the faster you cool them... It shocks it, and yeah. the molecules get together too quick, yeah. and they can break. Mm -hmm. So if you just lay them down, actually the best thing to do to do to finish a blade, if you're making a blade, is uh, putting them in a bucket of ashes, or something that makes them cool over three Slower. or four hours. And uh, you can take a file and just shave it. It's really soft and malleable. But a lot of times I'll lay it beside the anvil and in 15 minutes I'll pick it up. Always make sure you keep your edges down good because they will bubble up and give you a hairline crease on the end that's hard to get rid of. this bulge out on one side because I will draw my blade down on that side and it'll be wider okay. by the time I get that done. So I'll leave the width on that side. I was going to ask you why you were doing that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure when you're on the way down that you're hitting exactly where you want to hit.
with more weight, I'm much more accurate. I don't have to push down. I can let it fall and just hold it in place. Keep hitting the blade side so it doesn't bow out. You're drawing out one side, so mm -hmm. you keep hitting the blade yeah. side so it doesn't if, bow out. If I wouldn't, it would eventually so curve. curve. Yeah. And I do that, I keep it straight or slightly. You can see this is bowed back. I had the whole thing bowed back, allowing for that. Yeah. But uh, you can't draw it back into the right shape or a straight blade if you finish your blade first. You have to leave a little bit of of meat there to, uh, work on, to bring okay. it back instead of hammer it all the way down with a bow in it. I could just keep working on that and finish it, but it would be bowed, then you can straighten it back out. Yeah. Okay. Was that concavity now on the inside of that turn? Yeah. Okay. The edge is always on the outside. Better get it off there before it cools. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to have it as clean as possible in all places around the well. Seems 
see how much it has so it turned to leave liquid, yeah. yeah. it a whole lot. I just I just get it started the first time. I get the edge started into the other metal. Electronics. Oh uh, no uh, big heavy copper pipes and things. Uh, I didn't really know. Know. Oh, oh really? So, I don't know why it's not going off like that. Dual field is all as hard as it will for a mile I have well with pieces of horseshoe wrap into mile steel for blades a lot, but I have never done it on the cell. Cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the mild steel so it doesn't break as easy, but the hard steel yeah. for a long part of it. I used to do the mild steel around the eyes for axes or tomahawks. Then I just leave the edge open a little bit and slide a piece of rasp in there and forge weld it together. It's bonding pretty good, I think. Well, you want to always flux, repeat flux, as long as you don't have it completely finished. In case there is a little cavity mm -hmm. in there. So you definitely want to, wouldn't want to get this far and then drop right. something and get in yeah. there. <laughs> Thing right off. 
been there, done that. <laughs> Voice of experience. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Forge weld is something you don't just get hot one time, draw it out of the fire and hammer it together. You know, it's not it's not just a one heat thing. You, if you want a good weld, you have to Do it slow. work it in. Yeah. You can take a big hammer and uh, mash it right together in one heat where you want it, but you're very likely to bust it back open some time later when you use it. So you're just cleaning up the eye right now? I am just smooth. making sure that it is all lined up with the blade. And that's actually just a little bit too big. I want to smash that down a little bit. I got a smaller one here, Tom. coming out of this end so I will taper this bottom side or uh, top see yeah I'll have to taper this side down just a little bit okay. I know where you're heading <laughs> Okay. Hey. 